Hello, my name is Michael Albert, and I'm an artist and an author, and I live in New York, and I'm going to introduce myself to you right now for a few minutes, because I'm also going to be recording a number of art project demonstration videos uh, for you to try some of the projects that I've developed at home. So first, I'd like to show you my book. Uh, my book is called An Artist's America, and it was published by Henry Holt in 2008, and it's an artist autobiography. And your library might have a copy of it. I would check their catalog to see. And if not, it's also available on Amazon, and there are very affordable used copies that you could find as well if you're interested in getting yourself a copy. But it shows some different examples of the art that I've made over the years. Uh, it shows some drawings that I've done and characters I've created. It shows some different collage work that I've done. And I'm actually mostly known for making collages out of cereal boxes. Um, what I've been doing over the last few years, ever since my book came out, is traveling around the country to libraries, schools, and museums, and also art festivals sometimes, and meeting people and talking about art and showing different examples of the art that I've made, and then running workshops where everybody has the chance to create art together. And this summer, because of our unique circumstances. I'm not going to be traveling as much as I normally do in the summer, and so that's why I'm recording these videos. Um, I wanted to give you uh, some materials to gather so that you could be prepared when, um, when the videos are going to be released, and then you can try these projects at home. Um, one of the projects I'm going to be doing is my cereal box collage. And what you're going to need for that is some sort of a box. A cereal box is great, but if you don't have a cereal box, you could use a cocoa, hot cocoa pouches box. Um, I love Ritz crackers, you know, any kind of box that the stuff that you get at the store comes in pasta box. I like these types of boxes because they're colorful and they've got letters on them and pictures and they're for me they're, they're really fun to kind of cut up and make a collage out of them. For those of you who don't know what a collage is, a collage is a picture that you make by taking different materials and putting them together to make a picture. Um, another thing that you'll need is a pair of scissors. So uh, these are grown-up scissors. These are my special scissors, actually. I've been using them for 25 years, and I've never sharpened them. But they're really perfect, and they cut really well, and I take good care of them. I know they look a little grungy, but it's because uh, as I work, I get glue on my fingers, and I keep grabbing my scissors. But it's dried glue, so it's not really dirty. Um, the other thing you would need is a bottle of glue. Elmer's is great. You could use the Staples clear glue. I actually use this special acid-free archival glue. Um, but a bottle of glue would be great. You could also use a glue stick. And then for the base of your collage, you can just take a piece of cardboard, like when you finish using a writing pad, you know, the, after the last page, you have a nice piece of cardboard. You could use this. Um, here's a piece of cardboard that was the, the back page of a drawing pad. You could use that. And the other thing you could use, if you don't have either of those materials, is for the cereal box, you could use the back part of the box. Um, but I'll be showing you how to do that uh, on my video demonstration of the cereal box collage. In the meantime, I also wanted to suggest to you that you might want to check out my website 
which is just my name, michaelalbert.com. That's how you spell it, michaelalbert.com. And my website has lots of information on it and links to different articles and videos that I've put out over the years. And checking that out um, with your parents would be a great way to learn a little bit about me before we do the projects. Another place where I have a lot of artwork posted that I find is a great tool is Pinterest. And this is my Pinterest address. It's just pinterest.com backslash surreal juice backslash. And you can pause this video and write that down. And I have a whole bunch of examples of art that I've created over the years on my Pinterest board. But um, I love to make art. I've been making art ever since I'm about 19 years old. I'm 53 now. So I've been making art for more than 30 years. And I think the reason I make art is because I find it really enjoyable and fun and relaxing. And I like to express myself through art. And I found that these materials are, you know, we, uh, most of us have boxes from things that you get at the store at home. Um, you could also use pictures or magazines or newspapers if you like, but I'm gonna really focus more on these cardboard packages because that's what I do. Um, in any case, I hope you'll be interested to check out the video demonstrations. There's gonna be a couple of them, a couple of different projects I'm gonna show you and look for them. And hopefully once this situation that we're in, this coronavirus, situation will pass and we'll be back to having in-person programs at libraries and museums and schools and hopefully I'll I'll get to meet you in person one of these days. Uh, so thanks so much for listening and I look forward to uh, m recording more videos for you in the very near future. Okay, take care. Bye.